Hey, 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 scrappy people. Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a life crafted page. And I am using the Storyteller collection that I designed in collaboration with Coco Vanilla Studio. This A5 paper pad is absolutely perfect for um, life crafted pages. Now, I designed and cut out this cut file from the actual hearts that were included in this collection because of course I have the original file so that I could make uh, the actual hearts into a cut file and I'm going to make this cut file available for free on my website so you can check out the blog post for that below uh, but I am just hand cutting out papers from the A5 paper pad to in a rainbow order, of course, because I love rainbows. And I'm just gonna glue them to the back of this cut file that I cut out on glitter cardstock with liquid glue. So you can see I just loosely traced the cut out portion of that heart onto this pattern paper. Then I'm gonna repeat the process with all of the colors until I have this adorable rainbow of hearts. And then I have these photos of my husband and our new puppy sleeping. They are best friends and I wanted to create a layout of all of these photos I've taken of them sleeping. I feel like they need to be matted though. So I'm gonna add a um, paper mat to these photos as soon as I figure out where I want them to go. Of course, I don't know why I'm bothering to try and figure out where I want them to go right now because I'm gonna take this all apart and I'm going to redo it about 100 times before I'm happy. So I'm just showing you sort of the process that I went through. I'm trying to tuck them in so that I don't cover up too much of the heart and I also don't cover up too much of the photo. So I'm rearranging them so that the heart portions like uh, cover up blank spaces in the photos. Now I'm going to mat all five of these photos on this heart paper because why not? <laughs> it's cute around the outside edges. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this uh, white piece of paper and I'm going to add some mixed media to it. I had a vision for this layout when I started to design the cut file. I'm just going to take this pencil and I'm going to mark the edges of each of the colors because I'm going to make coordinating colored stripes. So I'm just marking the edges of where each color will end so that I can make sure that my mixed media mostly goes <laughs> where it's supposed to go. So I'm actually going to add a couple of layers of mixed media for every stripe and I'm sort of starting with the lighter version of the color that I want to include in each stripe. So I'm using all Catherine Pooler inks and I am starting with Samba and Sauna and all of these are just, I'm putting them on a nice light layer so that I can layer a bit darker of a color over the top of them as I move along. You can see I'm also wiping up the color with a paper towel so that it doesn't absorb too much and doesn't get too dark. This minted or meant to be is super light. So I added two layers of that one and it's still super de duper light. So we're gonna have to go way darker with the inks that we choose after that. The blue is super dark. So I'm putting it on very lightly. I want it to be messy. I want the colors to sort of smoosh together and get a little bit wild. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I don't want it to be perfect because the whole layout itself is going to be not wild, but it's going to be nice and colorful and overlapping and fun. So it's okay if the colors get a little bit out of pocket, a little bit out of their stripe. The pencil marks were just a nice loose guide for the colors themselves. So now I'm gonna start going back in with some darker versions of the same color and I'm gonna put it on a little bit heavier. Also in cases where I used maybe um, not quite right of a shade. So you can see I added a more orangey red over the top of the original red so that it was a little bit more of a coral. Now I added in a more bluey green and it's still not quite the right color. So I'm going to grab another yellow green, uh, 
put way too much down, but I'm gonna add another yellow green and go over the top of the blue green and we sort of get a good mix of colors here to where it pretty much matches. It's a little bit brighter than the green in the actual collection, but it works pretty well. I'm gonna add some blue over the top of the blue, but I'm gonna leave the pink as it is because um, it's nice and light and sort of matches the pink that we have going on in the heart itself. Super fun, you can see all of the layers of color that I have going on here. I'm adding even more yellow. And then I really like the way that that came out. So we're gonna move on and start assembling the layout. So now I'm going to put this down with the photos so that I know how everything's gonna go and then I'm going to cut it apart because you know this is a life crafted layout so it's cut down the middle with holes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put all these photos down making sure that I don't put anything in the center where I would cut either the puppy in half or my husband in half. So that one at the top in the middle there is not gonna be able to stay because it would cut right down the center of both of their faces but I haven't realized that yet. Here we go, we're starting to figure out where we want them to go though. I also want the ones that are sort of close-ups to be separated from the ones that are farther apart. So I'm just sort of keeping that in mind as I rearrange the photos. I decided that they didn't need to all be like super separated and balanced across the page because it wasn't quite looking right. So I'm just sort of pulling them apart, rearranging them again. Okay, I like the way that this looks. I think I like the two on the top better than I liked them on the bottom. So I'm gonna put this down all as one piece and then I'm going to cut it in half and I'm already loving the way that this is coming together. It's so pretty. I'm gonna add my holes and now I'm going to pull out the ephemera and the stickers and everything like that. And I'm gonna start adding things uh, to the page in rainbow order, of course. So my main title is gonna be that So Sweet. I like the black contrast with all of the bright colors. So I'm starting there and now I'm just, I've got this cut apart sheet and I'm going to add these two heart little flags. I don't really like the way that they look so they are going to get rearranged later. I don't like that like they're at the same eye level. But I'm just going through and I'm adding in things that are basically one color that I can just add in somewhere with the correct color. So I add those three buttons. I decided not to add the blue one because it was too big for the space. Now I've gone through and I've pulled out some labels and word bits and things that I think might work. These buttons of course are perfect because she is cute as a button. I think I want to use this cute little banner for my journaling. I like this moments in time better than I liked that heart flag there. So you can see I'm just putting things in color order where they will fit. I'm going to rearrange things a little bit but they generally go down where I put them originally. I wanted to use this banner, but the problem that I was having with the banner was that it had a blue flag on the end that would be in the yellow area. I didn't mind that the like the pink and the yellow were out of order as far as like the rainbow order on this page, but the blue just stood out too much. So I put that aside to start thinking about it while I am adhering the rest of this stuff down, but I'm going to make it work because I really wanted to include that banner moments in time. I like having the size variations and the shape variations as well. So I'm trying not to add too many of the same thing. We obviously have a lot of circles and a lot of hearts going on here and we're gonna have even more hearts uh, as soon as I start putting those down. So I wanna make sure that I'm balancing out the circles and the hearts with some rectangles and some larger circles in some instances as well as that, like that precious moments banner, the tabs. So I'm gonna tuck this banner underneath the journaling block, but it's still going to have some blue peeking out because I can't 
put the blue all the way underneath the label without covering up too much of the rest of the banner to where it doesn't even visually make sense anymore. So I'm going to have to cover up that blue part with something else. So I'm adding in these hearts, these larger hearts on the page now. I want to make sure that there are some hearts that are that exist and are larger than those enamel ones and are not part of the heart cut file so that they're spread out all over the page. So now I'm going to do the enamel ones. So cute. I love like the concept of like all of the little falling hearts in the paint splotches. Just love the way that this layout came together. It's so pretty, so fun. If you have a cutting machine, I really suggest you uh, go pick up that free cut file because it is just so easy to use and so cute. It makes such a great impact on this page. So I initially try and cover up that blue banner with that yellow heart, but it's not working out so well. So I'm going to start adding in some word strips. I thought, well, I'll just add the sweetest because it has that yellow heart, which I immediately cover up. But then I realized that the title says so sweet. So why do I need to have something else that says sweet? I'm going to cut this one in half and layer it vertically in that portion that like that trapped white space above the title. And that fills that up and made me happy. I'm gonna put that word strip back and use a different one instead. I'm gonna do adore this photo. I like the way that all of those white word strips look on this very colorful page. It gives your eye somewhere to rest. And then I tucked that blue banner up underneath that yellow heart. And because the yellow heart gave it a little bit more vertical extension, I didn't have to tuck it up so high and I could still see the rest of that banner. So that worked perfectly. I'm going to put down this arrow and then I'm going to call it good. I'm going to add a couple of black hearts and that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you.